chat gpt has officially launched their app store similar to apple app store and google play store meaning now you can create applications and host it on chat gpt and for the users you will be able to interact with applications just by asking chat gpt so you just ask chat gpt to to do certain things and chat gpt will use that specific app to finish that task for example they have integrated photoshop so you can just ask chat gpt to make the edits and the photoshop application will be handled by chat gpt and your edits will be done we'll be diving deeper into those things but let me just provide you a brief overview of what it is so apps is a feature they launched recently but it was announced back in october and that's where they introduced it and the release apps sdk but at that moment there were only a select few applications which were available now they launched it publicly it's available it's in public beta and there are a lot more applications which are available now so for example there are some featured applications like photoshop apple music canva was already there airtable lovable is also there which is a vibe coding platform there are some lifestyle applications and if you go into productivity there is a lot of applications in there you can see some design applications crms uh, courses and note takers and a lot more other applications to come so so it is definitely getting into spotlight now and the interesting part about this is they have made this available for developers so developers now can build any application on chat gpt and they can host it on chat gpt and they will be able to monetize it if their application is approved so a huge opportunity for all the developers even you are watching it you want to build an app for chat gpt you can do it and you will be able to monetize it but you need to make sure you are following their guidelines back to this you can use any of this application just by connecting them so for example if i want to use adobe express i can simply open it and it's a similar page to what we used to have in our mobile apps so app store has this kind of preview some details in here same way this is application page and this is where we can connect it connection is simply like downloading into our mobile application this is where you connect any app like this into your chat gpt simply click on it this is where it asks for the permission you can click on continue and it will connect your adobe express and chat gpt for this one you need to have a login here which uh, they will be asking for the authentication part which you can directly connect and this is where like let's say for example my adobe express is already connected because i already am logged in into this so this is how you can connect it and you can start chatting here similarly you can use any of those applications and where, whenever a new connection is done you will be seeing this tick mark here which will show you that okay your app is connected so to use these applications you will be needing to click on the start chat button and when you do that you can see adobe photoshop is already mentioned here and you can provide the task here and it will be doing the task for you there is also another way to call this application you can call any application let's say for example if i'm calling canva i can just write canva and the application will be called there chat gpt is smart enough to detect the application similarly i can say photoshop and this is where the photoshop application is detected so you can call any application like this and provide the instruction to do the work and that work will be done for you so i'm just asking photoshop what are your capabilities in chat gpt so this is what it can do it can do object and subject selection adjust colors and lighting add effects filters then background and subject edits this is where like even you can ask it if you are not aware of what are the things it is able to do you can just ask it and you will get the answer and you can pick the task from that this is interesting and it is changing the way we will be using any application now the experience is more of a prompting base you ask it and the chat gpt does the heavy lifting for you it even interacts with different applications you don't have to open that application it just does the work and it provides you the final output this is going to be a different level of experience for a lot of people in the upcoming time still this is in beta so it might be having some glitches but it's only going to get improved let's try any of this i'm just picking this one remove the background i'm adding it here and i will add this image which i have right now i attach it and i'm just asking it to remove the background let's see what it creates it's very basic task but uh, let's see it is connecting the app mm, connected and the background is removed 
so i can see that the background is removed i can download it from here and i can directly open it into photoshop as well let's try one more thing here so this is where it had make it comic style so i'm just going to do this if i'm able to edit this no i'm not able to edit this i'm just gonna take this prompt here and we are going to use the same image here and ask it to make it into comic style still i would say this is very basic level of things because so this is what it generated but it is still not perfect we can do some adjustments but i don't think it's still gonna get us that comic level look here but yeah considering this is in still early phase it is doing good job and uh, the time will only say how better this comes out and uh, there are some use cases for which this is definitely going to be useful but still there will be some cases where we will be needing manual controls and we'll be needing the proper tools which are native tools there that's it for this one subscribe to this channel and leave a like if you got to learn something new today